Way out west, there was this fella. Fella I want to tell you about. Fella by the name of Jeff Lebowski. At least that was the handle his loving parents gave him. But he never had much use for himself. This Lebowski, he called himself the Dude. Now, Dude, that's a name no one would self-apply where I come from. But then there was a lot about the Dude that didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And a lot about where he lived, likewise. But then again, maybe that's why I found the place so darn interesting. They call Los Angeles the City of Angels. I didn't find it to be that exactly. But I'll allow there are some nice folks there. Of course, I can't say I've seen London. And I've never been to France. And I ain't never seen no queen in her damn dundies, as the fella says. But I'll tell you what, after seeing Los Angeles, and this is here story I'm about to unfold, uh, I guess I've seen something every bit as stupefying as you'd see in any of those other places. And in English, too. So I can die with a smile on my face without feeling like the good Lord jipped me. Now, this here story I'm about to unfold took place back in the early 90s, just about the time of our conflict with Saddam and the Iraqis. I only mention it because sometimes there's a man, I won't say a hero, because what's a hero? But sometimes there's a man, and I'm talking about the dude here. Sometimes there's a man, well, uh, He's the man for his time and place. He fits right in there. And that's the dude in Los Angeles. And even if he's a lazy man, and the dude was most certainly that, quite possibly the laziest in Los Angeles County, which would place him high in the running for laziest worldwide. But sometimes there's a man, sometimes, there's a man. Ah, lost my train of thought here. But, ah, hell, I done introduced him enough. With them all for collective action, this will not stand.